In order to avoid contacts inside the aircraft, the Italian um, Civil uh, Aviation Authority has decided not to allow any more the passengers to bring with them uh, uh, to use, let's say, the overhead uh, locker. So you cannot bring with you inside the aircraft and hand baggage unless you can place it uh, under the seat in front of you. I don't remember this kind of measure was present in, among your recommendations. Uh, I would like to ask you if it is like this or not, and how do you assess uh, this uh, measure? And uh, I would like to know if this kind of measure are in place in other member states. Thank you. Thank you. This would be a question for Stefan. Hello, good morning. Good morning, and thank you for your question. I'm afraid that I cannot comment on this specific uh, uh, measure that has been taken. What I would like to do, though, is to refer to the um, aviation safety protocols, which have been adopted by the ECDC and by the EASA, the European Aviation Safety Agency, just a few weeks ago, and which contains a whole set of recommendations addressed to the member states to help airports, travelers, crew, dealing with the consequences of the crisis and to try to make sure that measures are taken to ensure as much as possible the safety of the travelers and of the crew. Lots of recommendations are put down, laid down in these uh, safety protocols, recommendations which uh, are made already before flights are taking place, recommendations regarding the entry into the airport, recommendations regarding what happens in the plane, recommendations regarding what happens at on arrival. So all these recommendations have been addressed uh, to the member states and they have been invited to take these into account to set up the necessary regimes and security and safety protocols uh, in, uh, uh, in airports, airlines and so on. Um, so it's up to, to, to airlines and airports to take these recommendations forward. Um, but this is, I think, the only thing I can, I can say at uh, this stage.